So Pinkie Pie is offering up a royal egg and a cracked egg for my Mega Neon Narwhal. I don't think that's going to be that great of an offer, unfortunately. Just because these two eggs, you can literally just walk in here and buy them. Although royal eggs are pretty expensive, but nevertheless, I still don't think it's going to be that worth it. She is, however, putting up a sun hat. Looks like an ace pride pin. Ooh, a squirrel car. I actually do like these. A human bubble. That's actually really cool as well. Bat face roller skates is not that great. I mean, they're literally right there. She's also putting up a anchor balloon and a clover balloon. And she says, please. But yeah, unfortunately, this just is not going to be that great. By the way, this narwhal is probably one of the worst pets you can ride on. Look at that. It literally just swings you on its tail. <laughs> Like, if this was real life, your head would be hurting riding on this thing. Look at that thing. It's just flipping you up and down. You're going to get, like, a um, whiplash from riding this. Whoa, that neon zebra looks so cool. I really do like how they made the stripes all neon. And including its little, like, nose, mouth area and its little feet, too. That's so cool. Right, so we're getting a trade here from 78KLXRA, who is offering up a neon uplift butterfly, a lunar ox, a penguin, one of those little fat penguins, which by the way, they're out of the game now, a panda, and uh, what are these called? Swordfish? Yeah, swordfish, a Halloween evil dash hound. So that's actually not that bad of a trade. Uh, this is a, well, the uplift butterfly is actually <laughs> really good. It is a neon version as well. The mega one, by the way, looks so, so cool. They are also adding up an orangutan, but anyways, yeah, it's not that great, unfortunately. It is only about like 60% of the value of the Mega Narwhal. Okay, so this person's dream pet is a normal frost dragon, so we're going to go ahead and let her offer for it. So she's starting out with a kangaroo and then putting in a frost fury. Looks like also a shark, which is a legendary. Looks like she is also putting up uh, four lunar gold tigers and she's finishing up with a dragon and a t-rex. So wow, these are all legendary pets. The top three are the best pets, of course. That's how you should always start out. However, though, the lunar golden tigers don't really go for too much. The dragon and the T-Rex do go for a bit. Okay, but unfortunately, though, um, after putting everything all in, it's only about like 40% of the value of a frost dragon. So yeah, this trade is really not going to be that great. Okay, so we're getting a trade here from looks like Tomeko297, who's offering up a unicorn, looks like a swordfish, a monkey, and a bat. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> not good at all all right so this person's dream pet is a mega cow so we're gonna go ahead and let them offer for the one that we have they are starting out with a mega unicorn which is a pretty valuable pet i do have already a mega unicorn though it looks like the next pet that they're putting up is a winged horse a yeti a neon mer horse a reindeer Ooh, a chick a uh, zodiac minion chick of course a space well and a dragon so realistically the only pets that are somewhat valuable in this trade would be the chick the winged horse and the neon mer horse this trade is uh well i mean it's not the best trade ever but they're also not too far off i do want to say it's about 75 percent to 80 percent of the value of the mega cow unfortunately though they do have a lot of bad pets in here which would be like these four right here so yeah i really don't think i'd be able to do this trade okay so we're getting a trade here they're putting up a crow looks like they're also putting up a neon cow which is oh that's so cool a neon cow and they are now also putting up a neon rock a neon tasmanian tiger two neon snow cats one neon walrus oh cool an ancient dragon and then a chameleon no way dude this guy is actually putting up pretty valuable pets wow <laughs> what in the world so yes technically this trade is over but realistically it's only because of the crow and the cow the neon cow for some reason is about 40 percent of the value of just a mega cow which is really weird because you need four of these to make this you know what i mean so it technically should really only be about 20 25 percent but anyways yeah so the rest of this stuff isn't too great but just the crow alone is actually not that bad the crow and the chameleon and the neon cow okay so we're getting another trade here for the mega cow this person is offering up a neon snow owl two neon bees Ooh, two more and you can literally make a, a mega a neon shiba inu a neon wolf looks like also a neon robin a neon buffalo a neon otter and then another neon buffalo so although it is a lot of neon pets which is pretty valuable the majority of these are pretty much just uncommon and common pets there are three ultra rares and then just one legendary but unfortunately these just don't really hold that much value well they they're pretty valuable on their own but not against a mega cow a mega cow is definitely far more valuable than the majority of these pets all right so we're getting a trade here for my mega unicorn uh somebody wanted to offer for it so it looks like they're offering 
picking up two neon dodos and then just four normal gold tigers which of course isn't that great of a trade oh my gosh this person wants to offer for my mega unicorn and they're putting up a rainbow gel magic carpet come on they're also putting up a normal unicorn and then a St. Bernard in a sloth. But yeah, that's that's not a good start. Let's be realistic. Whoa, this person wants to offer up for our uh, Mega Frost Fury. And he's putting up a Neon Turtle. That's so cool, dude. Those things are really, really, really difficult to come across. Um, normal, Most of the time, people don't really want to trade them off. They are also putting up a Neon King Bee, which is another legendary pet that's pretty valuable. They are putting up now a Corgi. Crack Day is not that great. Looks like also a Donkey, a Poodle, and then three Ants. Of course, from the new pets as well so it's all of these for the new pet really the majority of these aren't really that great the turtle and the king bee are pretty pretty valuable however even with all this other stuff it really doesn't come up against the mega frost fury if anything i want to say all of this together is probably around 80 percent of the value and realistically it's only because of the top two here right so we got another trade here looks like they're putting up a dragon two t-rexes which they are legendary pets we also got an ocean egg a shark woodland egg is not that great uh and then also three albino bats fortunately this trade just not that good so 24k underscore this guy here is offering up can you please give me a pet? this guy is offering up a neon penguin which of course isn't you know it's not going to be too great for a mega pet here they are saying that they're poor but unfortunately i just can't do this trade oh that sucks <laughs> like this is the only thing i have all right so andrea here is offering up an ancient dragon which you know what it probably would have been good like maybe like the first day it came out unfortunately though it is it has been a couple days since these came out so they did drop in value don't get me wrong they're still valuable but definitely not good for a mega pet at least not anymore unfortunately okay so we got another trade here from 24k didn't this guy literally said that that was his only pet that he had he lied to me this time he's offering up a neon penguin a ladybug a parakeet which is one of the new pets so maybe this person can actually trade this off uh for something pretty valuable a hydra and then of course the cracked egg uh which isn't too valuable unfortunately but nevertheless uh these five things are these five pets won't really be that great for a mega narwhal this person is offering us up a normal griffin and yeah it doesn't look like they're going to be adding considering they literally just accepted okay so now we got another trade here looks like it is now a dragonfly which is one of the three new legendaries i think the new legendaries is a dragonfly ancient dragon and then the alicorn that alicorn unicorn looking thingy so yeah but anyways just this alone definitely is not worth it okay so panther 6191 is offering us up a retired egg which of course in order to get this egg you need to have the vip pass and and then you'll have to get it in here they're also offering us up a mythic egg and a camel a fennec fox and a rabbit but even so unfortunately it's just not that great really the only valuable thing in here would be like the mythic egg and that's only because it's no longer in the game so this person here is offering up a lunar gold tiger it is a newborn one and it's a legendary but yeah they're not gonna be adding anymore that's not good okay so sun is offering up a neon dingo a neon chick a neon halloween white skeleton dog oh that's so cool a neon mouse a neon snowman a fallow deer a penguin and a ribbon seal this is actually somewhat of a valuable trade realistically it's because of this neon chick and um well even though this is a neon mouse and it is a common one it is from the new pets that just came out which by the way it's like one of the most cutest ones that i don't i don't understand why they didn't make this one a legendary it would have been so much more better and they also have a halloween white skeleton dog which is another one that's actually pretty valuable